Yo, yo, Xeno XP. We are live with some GTA 5. See how this goes. The way people have to see it is this. Now that they can go multi-platform, that means they're going to bring in more money. The more money they bring in, the more money they can put onto game development and stuff like that. They might... You never know. They might even be able to go, you know what? You remember that game from, like, the PS2 days? The, uh... I forgot what it's called now. Um... True Crime Streets of LA. What if they put money into that again? And they try and try and bring that back, you know what I mean? Or do a Sleeping Dogs 2 or something. Like, people need to look at it, like, from a different point of view. They're not making a... Ah, fuck! This has got to stop happening to me. Fuck now to fuck my wife in my own bed? <laughs> I'm sorry, that hey, is so funny. You! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm <clears throat> down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <sighs> Bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this mother. Just don't kill him! It was your fault! What? Why would you do... Why would you do that knowing what would happen? You actually have to be a fool. And Michael's even more of a fool. Tennis coat? Oh, that's fucked up, man. Who is dudes, homie? You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah. I'm a cuckold, a but yeah, I'm 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 kind of happy that Square Enix are trying to up. trying to do something new. Mad, they did make Kingdom Hearts on PC exclusive to Epic, so only their their fault sales are down. Uh, it's sort of. Don't forget, they were PlayStation exclusive. They they did have a lot of PlayStation exclusive games like Final Fantasy. There's a lot of Final Fantasy games that were PlayStation exclusive. Um, they keep doing dumb exclusive decisions. Yeah, but at the same time, you kind of have to wait. You kind of... Again, like... It depends. Because they might have had... Um, for example, Sony might have done a deal with them. And it might have sounded good... To, it might have sounded good... On paper. And, you know, they would... They were most likely going to do like uh, what's what's it called exclusives on PS4 or P uh, PlayStation. Sorry, so they got Final Fantasy 16, which was PlayStation exclusive. And to be honest, it's not even just them that are saying it. By the way, we also have to look at the other company that was saying it, which I believe one person from Insomnia were saying it makes sense to go multi-platform because if you limit yourself down to one platform. You're not going to make as much sales when you go and do these exclusives. Now, the exclusives have, have been going on for a long, long, long time. And to be honest, it's something that is kind of... Everything is kind of changing now. Because before, the exclusives would have worked in the favor of the game developer. Well, not just the game developer, but also the, the consoles. That's where the exclusives used to be, especially if you look at, for example, Nintendo. Nintendo, they don't, they, they've got their own exclusives. But the way they make their own money is because, you know, they're allowing indie devs to come onto the Switch as well. So, I mean, again, it just depends on what was done on paper, because again, uh, that's something that they might have just been able to go well we can move away from this now knowing that maybe their contract is up with so uh, sony or you know th there's so many things that could have happened behind closed doors we don't really know hey, but again i'm kind of happy that square enix are actually going to what the fuck is he doing hey get out of the way mother fucker fuck man i think he lost his head he lives somewhere up in the canyon we'll find him getting in the way <laughs> but yeah nah I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's um, you I'd say it's dumb now to do exclusives because to be honest it doesn't make sense now uh, specifically the epic store exclusive is dumb they lost so many sales because of that yeah I, I, okay, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. 
But I mean, Epic's, Epic's, uh, they, they might have, um, you know, looked again. They might have looked for it on paper and thought, well, okay, this sounds good. I suppose we'll see how it goes, blah, blah, blah. Maybe they got, like, good money to begin with, but then obviously the sales was where it fell apart because not many people really like Epic Epic Game Stores and to be honest the only good thing uh, about no, the only good thing turn. about uh, Epic Game Stores is free games hey, keep your eye out. that's it that's his car right there little pricks up there look oh shit Cole's doing all right for himself hey asshole but yeah even Bring Hades before we can settle our debt even Hades uh, didn't do very well with Epic Epic Store. Uh, There's a winch in the back of the truck. Doing Epic exclusives as well. So yeah, I do understand that part. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna what be you mean this fucking pulled dramatic? your marriage yeah, down? Whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get Fox better. Only, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe I should come up there and practice my. I only just seen that. On your face. Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh. How fucking magnanimous! May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! No! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Oh yeah, the, the physics in this is hilarious. Oh shit! You see this shit, dog? Come on! Oh, yeah, and again. Hey, homie, ain't rubbing outside tonight, dog. Come on, man, do it to him. Are you fucking serious, nigga? Well, there goes the house. Yeah. Fuck, come on. Fuck, man, fuck. Oh, we did it. Fuck his ass. Yeah, fuck him. But what's I'm not emotionally invested. Yeah, no, I feel that. Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Not asking I feel that. I'm not really. Maybe he'll keep it on the court, not on my wife. Invested, Man, so to speak, in what they do. Hey, it's more so. I'm I'm more so worried about the companies that they, you know the 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 smaller teams that get fucked over. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? It's not my house! Bullshit. Well, Square Enix is the only oh, one. I, I, I don't even like think that. they were I'm even a under some. I hit there. balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Yeah, not that I'm worried about Square Enix. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Oh, just put the phone down, dickhead. Hi Pirate uh, right? Dev got shut down by Microsoft. Yeah, I know. It's actually one of the reasons. Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. Can you see him? Are you still back there? Uh, you gotta push, man. Go. There you go. Jesus. There you go. I played that game and enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up playing that game again. Think about this. Wow. Shit. We did good. 
I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Speed man. bump. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. Hey. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking ex. My heart ain't pumped like that. I'm letting here. him drive. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Man. But yeah, um. You sound man. You just been green I think it's Mexican unfortunate. Ambassador to Los Santos. Trust they shot that game we down. Handled it. But Whoever that the fuck Martin is. Stupid. I've known worse. We just handled a few low ranking clans. Do you know what? We sit on it. We see what happens. Kid, there's no use second guessing. Feels good, man. Woo! Yeah. Doing something for a change. Ha! Understand studios got to make money. That's the main goal. That's the thing. They were making money. I still think this. I still think this. Number one, publishing, publishers should not have control over uh, game dev companies. I think that's completely wrong. I think that's completely stupid. And again, I still think the same thing about the games. The publishers should have no, next to no say, well, to be honest, it depends on, I suppose it depends on the contracts and whatever. But they shouldn't have any rights to the game whatsoever. It shouldn't be in their name. It shouldn't, you know, they, they should only put their name as the publishers and just basically say, you know, we publish this game, we advertise for this game, blah, 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 blah. That's what they did. Fine. But I think it crosses the line when they start sacking people, start telling the game devs what, what they can and can't do. I think all of this should be stopped as soon as possible. Because it all, all it does, it just creates crap in the industry. Oh my days. Man, are you, you kidding? Know what? You are what are you doing? That fucking fool, man. You're right. I need to do something. You crashed. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm better than that. Damn skip. But yeah, man. I understand <laughs> studios have got made money, but my fight did make money. I think they were talking about how you wouldn't believe the shit how it won uh, a lot of awards. awards. There was a time that was all I did. And how much I think they were talking about hey, how, how good the they, they did with the camp. money or whatever. I had no I idea remember. it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside show has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Oh. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of the background. Man, Mr. Madrazo, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you prove an architectural? Significant modernist wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills. I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that. It, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> Whoa! Great. I forgot about that. That's nice. That is nasty. Come on, man. All right. Damn, you I? Oh, wait. Well, never better. So what now? We got like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. 
man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. That is messed up, so d just think all of the events that led up to that. That's crazy. Marriage counseling. Drive by killer. Mission time. Okay. Fair enough. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh. You don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Uh, are we finished? Run! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like, the melee felt feels much better in GTA 4 than this game, if I'm completely honest. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to Lester's. We're going to do this first, then we'll do Michael's. But, uh, yeah, so... Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Sleeping dogs, melee is better. Hmm. To be honest, that game is based around melee. I will say this. The shooting mechanics are definitely... Well, obviously, they would have to be better in this game. Um, the one thing that I didn't like about Sleeping Dogs was the uh, shooting mechanics. They were complete bollocks. If, that's it, if they actually remade that game, or if they were to make a second one, I would like to see them uh, make the shooting mechanics a bit better. Wait, you didn't try the legendary outfits yet? I have not yet, no. But wait, do they have like, um... Oh, I forgot what you call them. Do they have like special buffs and stuff? I mean, I could try out, um... No, I don't trust you, so I already know what. I know what's going to happen. We go and try and help her out, and then some gangsters are going to uh, come out. Oh, they do? Okay, that's interesting. I will say, though, if they do try to remake that game, not remake, and new melee styles. Oh, yeah, of course. I did see that somewhere. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. The Illuminati. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any <clears throat> lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink. And a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony <laughs> fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you this talking is funny. about? You are about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. Uh, I'll find something. Just like the old days. Well, there you have it. <laughs>